We're joined now by Dr. Paul Beck, our OSU Extension Beef Cattle Specialist. And, and Paul, we're talking today about minerals and, and the needs for cows that are calving. Kind of set the stage for us for, for the conditions this time of year. The uh, majority of the beef cows in Oklahoma are spring calving cows. Uh, we have quite a few of, of the cows will be calving within the next two months. Uh, and that corresponds to the uh, uh, rapid growth of a lot of the cool season annuals uh, that, uh, you know, whether it's just a volunteer that comes up in pastures or if we have producers grazing wheat pasture with cows. And there's some uh, mineral issues within those cool season annual grasses uh, that can lead to some metabolic diseases uh, for the beef cows. Talk about that a little bit more. What are these these metabolic diseases? What do, what do they look like? Uh, explain that part. Uh, the two primary ones that uh, are the most concerned at this time of year would be milk fever, uh, which is very common in dairy cows, but we also see it in, in beef cows. And it's related to calcium nutrition and the uh, uptake of uh, calcium in the diet along with resorption of calcium from the bones. And if we are feeding a high calcium mineral and we're getting close up to calving, that kind of makes the cow's system lazy and it's not used to, it's not prepared to resorb uh, mineral calcium from the bone to, to keep the blood calcium levels uh, at the right level. When the cow calves and starts producing milk, it becomes deficient in calcium and blood calcium decreases and they have muscle tremors uh, from, from the low uh, blood calcium and that leads to uh, incoordination and, and a lot of times death if we don't treat that right away. You know, a lot of times this happens with older cows and because of their, their just bones are more brittle and they don't resorb that calcium out of their, their bones. The other issue is grass tetany and the symptoms are the same, muscle tremors, incoordination, uh, stumbling around, but it's a magnesium issue. And the problem with these cool season annuals is we've, it, they're adequate in calcium, uh, but they're uh, kind of marginal in magnesium in a lot of cases. And we have high uh, potassium levels in, in those forages and, and the potassium interferes with the calcium and and magnesium absorption in the uh, GI tract. Uh, and this happens a lot with younger cows. And the way we treat that would be to uh, start feeding a higher magnesium mineral as we get closer to, to calving. If we can feed a, instead of a, a three or four percent magnesium mineral um, to our dry cows, we need to up that to a higher mag, 10 percent magnesium mineral about a month before calving. As we know on SUNUP, we've got folks who've been farming and ranching their whole lives, and then we have some people who are just getting started. So this, this guidance applies to everybody. Yes, it absolutely does. You know, our newer producers may think they've got a good mineral program, and then some of these issues crop up that they didn't expect. And a lot of times these issues crop up to uh, experienced producers too, and we lose sight of some of the things we do know, and uh, it comes up and gets us in the end. So. Now, in terms of integrating this into your feeding regimen, how does that work? The requirements and the needs uh, that are being met by the forages change over the year. And, and when we have dormant grass or, or hay, we have different requirements or different deficiencies uh, at that time than we would during the summer with green growing grass. So. Uh, we need to be prepared to alter our mineral program with the season and, and to meet those uh, beef cattle needs for both what the forages supply and the, what the cows need for their stage of production. At this time, it, it's important to go to the feed store and, and find that higher magnesium mineral. Um, everything else can, can stay the same as far as the calcium and the phosphorus needs, uh, but just adding that uh, magnesium to the mineral would be important at this time. 
Uh, it's a good idea if we're feeding hay for a long period of time to go ahead and get a, a, a feed analysis with the mineral uh, just to see where you're at and, and tailor your mineral program to, to fit what your forages are actually supplying and what those cows actually need. There's some fact sheets available that address these topics as well. Yes, we have a full series of fact sheets on the uh, nutrition requirements of beef cows and the mineral nutrition of beef cows. And, and those are freely available from our extension offices or our uh, extension website. Okay, great. We'll check those out. Thanks a lot, Paul. Thank you. And for the fact sheets Paul mentioned, plus a link to find your nearest county office, just go to sunup.okstate.edu.